You're too smart for your own good. Has anyone told you that? Yes. This girl has a name, and it is Arya Stark. Welcome to Ms. Mojo, and today we'll be counting down our picks for the top 10 most kick ass Arya Stark moments. Do you know who I am? Before we begin, we publish new videos every day, so be sure to subscribe for more great content. For this list, we'll be looking at the most hardcore, brave, and all around kick ass moments from the youngest lady of Winterfell. We'll be basing our picks not just on her achievements, but on the overall badassery of the scene as a whole. Lots of key points ahead, so a spoiler alert is now in effect. The last thing you're ever going to see is a Stark smiling down at you as you die. Number 10. Hitting Joffrey The hit HBO show took no time letting the audience know what a sadistic little puke Joffrey Lanny, I mean, Baratheon was. After the pasty Prince and Sansa Stark come across Arya and her friend Micah sword playing, he takes it upon himself to torment the butcher's boy, and Arya has none of it. Arya! Showing her bravery and sense of justice from the start, she hits Joffrey and reveals him to be the coward he is. No. No. Please don't. From the beginning, Arya demonstrated her unshakable principles. Don't cross her friends and wrongdoers beware. Number 9. Freeing Jack and Hagar After the execution of her father, Arya secretly leaves King's Landing with the help of the Night's Watch recruiter Yorin. Among the recruits is a man in a caged wagon, whom Arya helps giving him water despite her wariness. A man has a thirst. Later on in the series, however, the audience comes to know him as Jack and Hagar, one of the many assumed identities of a faceless man of Bravos, and a skilled assassin and shapeshifter. But to Arya here, he is just a man of mystery and a possible ally. When the Night's Watch train is attacked, she goes out of her way to save him and, unwittingly, opens many new doors on her path to revenge. If the day comes when you must find me again, just give that coin to any man from Bravos and say these words to him. Vala Morgulis. Number 8. First Blood once again brought to the edge of reunion with members of her family, Hope is snatched away from Arya when she and the Hound arrive too late to the twins. Having witnessed some of the horrific aftermath of Walder Frey's treachery at the Red Wedding, Arya is justifiably traumatized, with no more Fs to give. Leaving with the Hound, the duo comes across a group of Frey men, bragging about their recent participation at the very wedding that left her brother, mother, future sister-in-law, and niece or nephew dead. None of the Starks had much to say by the end of that meal. Tricking one of the men, she then viciously stabs him over and over, quickly dispatching the rest. Vala Margulis indeed. Sorry. Oh shit. <laughs> Number 7. No Mercy for the Hound As the duo was so unexpectedly entertaining, it is easy to forget that Sandor Clegane, better known as the Hound, was on Arya's hit list. You are Arya Stark. I asked if you wanted something. After being bested by Brienne of Tarth in a heated battle, the Hound is left broken and bloodied. Arya runs away from Brienne and finds him dying at the bottom of the cliff he fell from. For a moment, it seems like she will kill him, thereby knocking a name off her list and granting mercy to someone who seems like a grudging friend in one stroke. Do it. But in a cold twist, she leaves him to die. Kill me! Number 6. Reclaiming Needle and Herself After everything she went through, it was perhaps no surprise that Arya Stark just wanted to disappear and become a faceless avatar of death. But despite all her training with the faceless men on Bravos, a girl still had a name and a personal mission to fulfill. Which name would you like a girl to speak? When Arya realizes that as a faceless man, she will be assassinating innocent people for petty reasons, she decides that killing without justice is not for her. In a moment of clarity, she retrieves Needle. As Arya learns, turning your back on a guild of assassins is no easy task, and with her choice, she made some powerful enemies. Shame. The girl had many gifts. Number 5. Brienne and Arya Training I won't cut you. Don't worry. I'll try not to. From Daenerys to Cersei, Lady Olenna to Yara Greyjoy, Westeros has had a lot of ladies in charge. That's why it was so awesome to see two of the most skilled swordswomen in the Seven Kingdoms come together. Having met briefly and under much more edgy circumstances, there is some tension when the two square off. However, very quickly, they recognize the other's skills, and a mutual respect is born. 
Both Brienne and Arya have endured their fair share of humiliation when it comes to their size, but these ladies are still able to best every man in their path. Brienne and Arya have more in common than they know. Who taught you how to do that? No one. Number 4. Killing Polliver when the War of the Five Kings began, Arya found herself captured, had her sword stolen, and then witnessed the brutal murders of many of her fellow captives. That's a fine little blade. <laughs> Maybe I'll pick my teeth with it. All of this violence left an indelible mark on the youngest Stark girl. Two seasons later, Arya and the Hound crossed paths with Polliver and his crew, the same men responsible for the torture of the captives. Except now, Polliver is decked out in the King's colors. After the Hound makes his opinion on the King clear, a fight breaks out, and Arya jumps in. Relishing in the wounded Polliver situation, she throws his words back at him, before slowly and methodically stabbing him with a sword he stole from her. Maybe I'll pick my teeth with it. <laughs> Number 3. Killing Marin Trant in case you need a little reminder, Marin Trant was one of Joffrey's men, a sexual predator who allegedly killed her fencing teacher, Sirio Farrell, and frequently brutalized and humiliated her sister Sansa on King Joffrey's orders. In one of her most graphic kills, Arya posed as a young prostitute in order to get Trant alone. She blinds and tortures him before slitting his throat, all with a blank and utterly unfeeling look on her face. The brutality of the scene demonstrates just how far Arya has gone, how ruthless she has become, and to what lengths she is willing to go to exact her revenge. You're nothing. Number 2. Killing the Waif Joining the House of Black and White meant giving up everything she ever was, but to most viewers, it was clear from the start that Arya of Winterfell was not cut out to be faceless. You're not ready. When Arya abruptly leaves the guild, she brings their wrath upon her head. Her one-time mentor, Jacken, sends his acolyte the Waif after her so that she can pay the price. Don't let her suffer. After a chaotic chase through Bravos, Arya challenges the faceless girl in a pitch-dark battle, a skill the Waif herself taught her. Afterward, Arya confronts Jacken and rejects his assertion that she is now no one. She's Arya motherfucking Stark, baby. Finally, a girl is no one. A girl is Arya Stark of Winterfell. Before we reveal our number one pick, here are a few honorable mentions. So why is a nice girl on our own heading to King's Landing? I'm going to kill the Queen. You want it? I'll give it to you. I already killed one fat boy. I bet you never killed anyone. Number 1. Killing Walder Frey Sitting down to his dinner, the ornery old man and orchestrator of the Red Wedding antagonizes the young serving wench as he calls for his sons. Where are my damn moron sons? Black Walder and Lothar promise to be here by midday. They're here, my lord. When the wench replies that they are already there, he discovers that they have been baked into the pie he has been eating. Removing her borrowed face, Arya smiles as she slits his throat, just like he had done to her mother. She would later pull the same trick in reverse, posing as the Elder Frey to kill off his sons and all of the remaining members of House Frey. Who said revenge is a dish best served cold? When Arya Stark is cooking up vengeance, it can be so much more. Tell them the North remembers. Do you agree with our picks? Check out these other great clips from Ms. Mojo and subscribe for new videos every day.